Welcome to the Tippy Toe Show podcast, baby. We got a special guest. Did we doing it different today? That part. Who we got in the building today? J Dub. Y'all already know what it is. Man, we got a special guest, J Dub. Today we'll be talking a little different. My dog don't rap. We're gonna talk about the chain game today. What's the chain game for everybody that don't know? That shit the hard times, dog. What you call hard times? You're around a bunch of slime balls, a bunch of creep motherfuckers, a bunch of sideways motherfuckers. So, J Dub, people want to know have you been to the chain game and try to talk loud on the mic, though? Oh, yeah, you already know I've been to the chain game multiple times, not just once. The first age, how old you was your first time going to the chain game? 18. 18. How it was your first time going in there? What happened? What did you go in there for? Armed robbery with a firearm. Armed robbery with a firearm. So when you was in there walking, like, explain it to us for people don't know going to prison. How it is, what it, what, let us know, explain it to us your first day in prison. Break it down. Well, <clears throat> first day in prison is like you got to be beast mode out the gate. As soon as you walk through them gates and get off that blue bird, you just got to go ahead and get to whoever look crazy, you feel me? What you mean by that? When you get in there, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. So it's basically like you got to just go ahead and rock on out so a bitch can respect your mind, you feel me? But what happened, though? You 18. Let them know. Like, we trying to get into your world. 18, you walked in there. How it was? 18, when I walked in the chain game. But the people I, don't know chain game mean prison. Yeah prison when i walked in there on some real nigga shit i already had the mind frame i ain't give a fuck so i was already about whatever well, however bitch want to play it in there bitches taking bitches shit bitches trying to put down on motherfuckers so i ripped when a nigga walk in there nigga just but how did you know about that your first day how you know people was gonna be putting down like oh you already know niggas talk you feel me letting a nigga know what's going on if you from around the way, nigga, let you know, okay, fun, this how this shit rocking. If you wasn't there before, this, that, you know how that shit goes. So once a nigga laced the nigga chucks up, nigga just took it from there and ran with it. Okay, so first walking in, though, is it room, like, true, they put everybody in the, a room first? Nah, they don't put you in no room first, dog. What when goes you, down? What goes down? Let them know if people want to know. As soon as you get off that bluebird, them crackers gonna put everybody in a goddamn circle and everybody gotta get butt ass naked, squat, cough, search, shake down, go through a nigga property, make sure a nigga ain't got nothing they not supposed to have behind them gates, haircut game, run a nigga through the scanner, take pictures so a nigga get an ID, all that crazy ass shit though. So that's, so that's the first day in there? First day in there. So first day is like a process, basically. Yeah, first day is a process. As soon as you get off, you ain't going no room. You going in a big ass open bay area, and everybody got going here, strip, get searched, all that shit. Duh, they run through a nigga property. So how they suggest where you go from there? What's next after that, though? After that, duh, you're gonna be sitting in the lobby for about a good six, seven hours, waiting until they get processed take pictures, haircuts, and then sent to the dorm. And then when you get to the dorm, you're gonna be sent to whatever room you're gonna be in. How they, you know, how they make their choice of what they sent you at? They go alphabetical order. Okay, okay, okay. So, to be honest now, 18, second day in there, were you scared? Hell no. Nah. I, I was already ready. I was built for that shit. Like it's what you like, mean? What you mean by built for that shit? I was built. I was raised in the streets, so I had to take whatever come with it. You feel what I'm saying? So when I got locked up, I was already ready for whatever. So however it went down, it just went down like that. And okay, so when you got in there, like who were you affiliated with? Who were you like? How did you make your choice? You get in there third day or third day? What happened now? Let me know. Oh, oh, as soon as I got in there, you already know I'm Z'd up anyway, so. It's what you like, mean by that? You know, we don't know. Like, you got to break it down. You can't act like they know we already. What you mean by Z'd up? What you trying to say? You Z'd up. What that mean? Letter Z? What that mean? Yeah, Zo Mafia. So you was a Zo Mafia? Yeah. Like, were you a Zo Mafia before you got in there? When you got in there, how how did it, how does that work? Yeah, I was I was already Z'd up before I got in there. So 
when I got in there, you know, a Z gonna recognize a Z anyway. So once my zombies see me pull up, they pulled up on me and let me know what's going on anyway. So everything was Gucci anyway. So for the people don't know, what is a zombie? A zombie is a Zo, Zo Mafia affiliated. Mm. It's a family, you feel what I'm saying? Everybody stick together, one for all, all for one. Is that that's something that started out here or that's something that started in prison? Where did that start from? <clears throat> it start it started in the chain gang. The chain gang? Yeah. How did it start? Like, you feel me? Do you know do you know anything about it? Oh yeah, of course, but we can't talk about that because that's a violation. Okay, okay. Oh, so oh you can't even talk about this shit. No, you can't talk about that. That's okay, okay, okay. So now when you in there, right, you say your family seen you. Oh, you already know. They already recognize the zombie out the gate, so nigga was straight off rip anyway. Like, what kind of shit you, um, like, your first fight? What's your first, explain your first fight you seen in there. My first fight in the chain. How long did it take, though? How many days, how many weeks, months, before you see your first fight? My first fight in the chain, gang. Not you, you seen your first fight. Shit, as soon as you walk through the gate, shit going down. You say the minute you walk through the, the what minute you, you walk through, you see niggas popping off, off rip anyway. Like what? Like like what? Come inside? Like what you mean? Like just getting dressed? Like what you mean? Come inside of the, the gate? As soon as you come in the gate, you see niggas popping off. Niggas niggas running down on crackers. Niggas running down on niggas is just going down. They trying they trying to take some. You got food, anything? You know them niggas be starving in the. Some niggas, they don't get no goddamn money sent to them, so that's how that shit, they'll be going. Okay, so when you go in there, like a weekend, did you feel comfortable when you first came in or it took you a couple of days to adapt a couple of weeks? How did it go? Shit, as soon as I walked through them gates, man, it was already... I, I adapt to the process anyway because I'm a street nigga regardless, so I'm a man before anything, you feel me? So when I got in there, I, it was arms open to anything. Big nigga want pressure, it's pressure. Nigga stay in their own lane, mind their own business, but nigga funk out of bounds, they get what they looking for. Did you see anybody go through some shit in there? Shit, you see that every day, blood be shed in there every day. You seen somebody get stabbed? Multiple times. Can you explain one time, like what you seen happening? When you, how did you see it? What, were you walking by? Were you chilling? What happened? Ex give the people explain so they can know what the hell happened. How <laughs> motherfucker? Nah, we want to know, dog. It's chain gang talk, dog. <laughs> Shit, one day nigga was in the day room just chilling, you know. Watching a little breakfast club on the TV screen. They got cable in there? Yeah. Oh, all that no. So 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 explain to us what happened. So nigga just in the just vibing, you feel me? Next thing you know, bit nigga hear all type of commotion behind him when the nigga look back. You see one nigga running blood everywhere, another nigga behind him running with a knife, popping that nigga ass thousand times. With a knife? With a knife. Like what small knife? Big explain how big was the knife? Them shit's mon lower blades and uh what that's me on shit like this. Big blades. Big blades. That big? That big. What the fuck? What the what the boys chefs? Man, when a nigga hit you with that shit, they trying to drop the helicopter on the compound. That what they call it helicopter what, what you mean by that drop the helicopter on the compound? What that mean? That means big nigga going to outside medical. Nigga then they're about to lose their life. So you done seen the helicopter come a couple of times? Yeah, I done dropped it one time. Stop lying. Yeah. What happened? What you trying to say? You got into altercation with somebody? Yeah, you already know. Gang, what happened? Gang, what? gang on gang shit. Like, you know, it was nigga a in the gang, gang dorm, you feel me? Everybody banging in this bitch. So bit, one nigga funked out of bounds. So bit, I had to put something this long in the nigga ass. Next thing you know, big blood everywhere, helicopter hitting the pound. Everybody on lockdown, big shakedown. They trying to look for them knives and everything they don't got ducked and tucked with. So, God, so them, them knives getting ducked and tucked? You better believe it. Is magicians in there? Man, them shits there getting ducked and tucked. You won't find them. Did, did, did you ever got into someone where somebody tried to slice and dice you? Yeah, when I hit the nigga, when I hit the nigga, the knife got stuck inside the nigga so i left the knife in the nigga because it couldn't come out so now the nigga steady 
He shaking, moving around and shit on the catwalk. He steady trying to pull that shit up out of him. So when he finally pulled that shit up out of him, he got a nigga now try to rush me. So I had to go ahead and hit him with the side step. But so much blood, the nigga lost so much blood is when he swung the knife at me one time, he had to hit the floor. He went to the floor and he couldn't move no more and they dropped the helicopter. God damn, you you said that shit like that's a regular. Oh yeah, that, that go down like that on the regular. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I'm saying though, like how did you eat in there? Were you had people sending you money or you had to hustle? Oh, what you are, you already know tippy toe sending nigga money. Okay then. <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> it's going that down. Far. Okay then. So besides tippy toe, you know what I'm saying, what you was doing in there, you feel me? You know hustling, you know, you know how that shit go, man. Just like the streets, you know. Nigga got weed in there, nigga got dope, you know, nigga got phones. All type of shit going down just like the streets. Nigga shooting dice, nigga playing cards, gambling for money. You know how that shit is, same shit. So you feel like the chain game's like the streets? Yeah, it's just like the streets. Which, one, which one's worse or which one's harder? What you think? Shit. The streets or the prison, which one's tougher? The, on, the, only, the only difference is them niggas in there slinging knives. Out here, niggas slinging guns, you feel me? That's the only difference, but Ain't nothing changed. The chain game just like the streets. Damn Everybody what? trying to eat. Everybody clapping each other. Niggas beefing. But um, since you said you was with the click, any time did the click beef with each other? You know that shit happen all the time, man. You know niggas be beefing with each other because they got envy for a nigga. You feel me? Mm -mm -mm. So like, explain it though, like how it is with the um with the whites and the blacks, the span. How it is in there though? How everybody got their own little clique. It got to be every, like that. It got to be. like You can't that. come in there and say motherfucker. I'm I'm so low, motherfucker. Nah, they gonna run down on you. They gonna run down on you. Yeah. Who gonna run down? Everybody. Everybody. Bloods, Crips, G's, Zos, Chicos, Latin Kings, Yetas, whatever you wanna call it. Bitch, your ass neutron, you gonna get the business if you getting money. Oh, so you getting money, you gotta be click you, tight. You getting money, a nigga gonna come see about you. That's how that shit go in the chain. Like what you about getting money, like your people sending you money? Nah, just getting money, like you hustling. You hustling in there, doing your thing, your face getting known, and you ain't banging, nigga, they coming to see you. So. I wouldn't give a damn how hard, he, how hard you is, how much of a gorilla you is, nigga, you ain't banging, nigga. When six seven niggas pull up with them long ass mon lower blades, it's so that's get on, lay down. So you trying to say that's how they come, that, that's the sticks. Yeah, they pulling up with them sticks, it's either get down or lay down. How you gonna get down, but this ain't a lot and we can't shoot blades? Shit of me. So, so you don't see niggas have blade fights? Yeah, I don't have blade fights. Me and my brothers don't went through it with another gang. Another with blades. Other, blades. We Mexican can't say let's put the right. blades down. Let's do hands. Nah, niggas no. ain't fighting no more, man. They want they want to see blood. These niggas sword masters. Yeah, they want to see blood in there. They ain't doing no fighting. Everybody getting they top pop. So you done seen a couple bodies go, basically. Yeah, me and my brothers don't have Mexican stands off with multiple different organizations. Everybody pulling out Mon Lord Blaze is going down right there. Whole compound getting shut down. Crackers backing the bluebird up. Nigga, all us getting shipped to a different prison, split up, all that. It's going down like that. That's how it go down in there. So 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 that's how they prevent it. They keep they keep like switching y'all to different prisons and shit. Yeah, they switch us different prisons. But the crazy thing about it is, when they split you and your brothers up, they just putting you in a whole nother location with multiple different brothers. So it's still the same shit. You ain't really separate none. Everybody zed up anyway. So how much time you felt like you got moved around when you was out there? Shit, I was banging so hard I wanted like eight, nine different prisons within 12 years. Mm, so they, oh damn, 12 years, they just kept switching up. Switching up, cause when it goes down, it goes down. What, like any name of what your favorite prison, even though it sound crazy, but do you have a favorite prison to be at? Nah, I ain't got no favorite prison, you feel me? I ain't got no favorite prison, but 
<clears throat> I got a thousand brothers here. Well, so I'm saying, what kind of time some of your brothers was getting? If you don't mind, let us know. Like, what Man, kind? Of I had brothers around me that got thirty years. I had brothers around me that had elbows. What's an elbow? For people who don't know, what's an elbow? That's a life sentence. I had brothers around me with ten years, fifteen, five years, two years, a year and a day. I had different. I had all type of people around me. Damn it! So you just seen it go like that? I just seen it go down like that. Mm-hmm. I'm saying though. So when the, when a person knew get to prison, what kind of advice can you give them? What can you tell them to stay? You feel me? What can you tell somebody they first time in there? What to do? How to move? In there, cause you know not everybody's first, like you said you was ready. Not everybody ready. Some people might be scared they first time walking in prison. The advice I could give a person if they ever go to prison, dog, is don't be friendly. And if you banging, as soon as you get there, just go ahead and make a statement, let a nigga know you ain't nothing to be fucked up with, so you can have an easy rodeo, smooth time. So, life. so let's give an example, right? How you make a statement? You in that bitch two days in. How the fuck tip it toe make a statement in prison, bitch? Tip it toe, tip you it just, toe up in this bitch. What to do? You pat your feet. If you know somebody in there, you gonna get you get you a lawnmower blade and go and take a nigga head off. Go take a nigga head off. Take a nigga head off. You telling off. me so I gotta catch a charge. You ain't finna catch a charge. All them crackers gonna do is put you on investigation and put you right back out there. For stabbing somebody. For stabbing somebody. They want me to stab somebody. Yeah, that's how them crackers are living. Damn. You ain't finna get a charge. The only way you get a charge, that nigga die. Okay, what about if you killed the person by mistake? Hey, if you kill him, it is what it is. It went down. You ever see somebody catch a murder charge, you know? <clears throat> I don't see plenty dead bodies get dragged right in front of me. Like with somebody, that, like with nobody around or somebody catch a charge for that body? Yeah, somebody catch a charge for it. Sometimes bitches get away with murder, shit like that, duh. I don't see plenty of shit like that. So what about what the law library? You was in there? What's what's good? Hold on, Tippett. What's good, fam? I see you down there, boy. Shout out to Charlie, man. Shout out to all my brothers, man. Okay. I fuck with y'all Z's up till we freeze up. That's some Z's right there. Yeah, what what, 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 what they in there with you? You better believe it. So goddamn, so let me know like how the Z survive cuz this Z shit is big out here now. Oh yeah, of course. You so so know. so like you's not Haitian, right? No. So you ain't got to be Haitian to be Z'd up till you freeze up, little daddy. No, nah, you just got to be living like that, got to be in you. So break it down. Let them know what it is again for people that don't know the Z shit. You got to be 10 toes down, man. You don't fold on the pressure. But is there a difference between the Z Prison and the Z rapping shit. I see it's like oh, it's a big difference. It's a big difference. It's a very big difference. What's the big difference between like a Z's in prison and Z's in this rap shit? Z's in this rap shit. You know, some of them certified, some of them ain't. You feel me? The ones that certified been been through the trenches, been been under pressure, and ain't full. You feel me? Some of them bit just claiming that shit and don't even know what they claiming. Now I got a question now. To be a, a official Z, did you have to go to prison or can you be a Z on the outside? You could be a Z on the outside. How you get how you how you how you get tippy toe in the Z's? Like how you get in there like what somebody throw some water on you? Like how, <laughs> how you get baptized and be a Z though? Like how you You know, you know that 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 does um What's understood ain't got to be explained, man. I oh, can't that's... really talk about that. Okay, then. More shit we can't talk about. So I be, I'm thinking a bitch just throw you in some water, water or something. <laughs> Can somebody be x dot to Z? Yeah, you could get x dot. You ever seen somebody get x dot to Z? I seen plenty of people get x dot. What's one like? What's one big or light shit that can get somebody x dot to Z? Um, you know. Just doing um comic shit, doing flow shit, you know, doing comedian shit, you know, folding on the pressure type shit. You feel me? Let's say six, seven niggas run down on you, you know, with them pistols or knives or however you want to call it, and bitch, you tuck your tail, bitch. For somebody I don't know, tuck your tail. That means you bitched up. Mm -mm -mm. So, so I'm saying though, is it real big for the Z's to still? When you out here communicate, like oh yeah, you know everybody stay in contact with each other. I got thousands of them called me right now from the chain gang. 
Okay, so so you keep in touch with the chain game. How you feel about the chain game? Like I said, you've been locked up several times. You say with the lack of, like, do you feel like when you're in the chain game is a different world? Do people oh. forget about people in the chain game? Oh, yeah, you already know, man. You know, sometimes bid be out of sight, out of mind. It be you in a whole different world, you feel me? And sometimes you got niggas that keep it 100 and pull up on a nigga in the chain gang. Then you got some niggas that just forget about a nigga in the chain gang till the nigga come home. Okay, 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 okay. And the hole, explain what's the hole for the people that don't know what's the hole. What you mean the hole? The hole, you know, like in chain gang. We're going to send you to the hole, the box. Oh, yeah, that's. What is that? That's the box. That's um you in the fucking cell. 24 hours, 365 daily till them crackers decide to let you out from behind that door. What 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 could get you sent to the hole, to the box? How you get sent over there? Stabbing a nigga, hitting a nigga over the hill with a lock, fighting. So that's true about this lock thing? Oh yeah, you know. Tell me about the lock, how the lock, how it work? You got some nigga, you know you take your sock off, tie, tie, tie the sock to the lock, and go across the nigga shit with it. Or you take your chain gang belt, tie that bitch to the lock, go across the nigga shit with it. Damn it, dog. So they just going across nigga. Like, is everybody just mad in that shit? Hell yeah. Every day, everybody wake up mad. Everybody got their own issues, their own problems. You around a thousand goddamn different personalities, all that. So, bit every day you wake up is pressure anyway. Nigga got to be on they P's and Q's because if a nigga catches slipping, you gonna get popped. God damn, so what, what What keep a nigga happy in prison then, bro? Shit, really nothing but besides hearing from your family, friends, close ones from the streets and shit, but other than that, it be like after you do hear from them, you back in that crazy mode again because it's like that shit stresses you out even more. So what kept a nigga like you vibing, like? Close custody. What's close custody? Close custody's with all the killers and all the wannabe gangsters and beasts or whatever, however you want to call it. That's where everybody at. Everybody who clapping shit, popping shit, banging all that, the close custody. What about the drugs? How, is any drugs in, in there? Can, mother, can a motherfucker still get high? Can I oh, roll? Yeah, 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 can yeah. I roll me a joint? God damn it! Yeah, you can roll you a joint. Is the grab a leaf up in there? Yeah, all that's in there. Oh, man. I gotta roll a white boy. No, nah, all that's in there. So I can roll a backwood. You can roll a backwood. They got gas or zona. What kind of weed they got in there? They got gas in there. They got gas in there. Yeah, they got gas. They got different flavors or whatever gas they got. Whatever gas they get in, that's what they got. That's what they got. Uh, okay, ain't no picking and choosing. Ain't no picking and choosing. Okay. You get okay. what you see. So I'm saying, you ever got high in prison? I don't smoke gas before. Yo, you smoke gas. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm waiting on you to pass the joint. You ain't passed it yet. Nah, you smoke. <laughs> you smoke weed. I've been off papers, boy. Mm -mm -mm. I ain't know. <laughs> yeah, but that's what it is, though. So you say you done smoked the gas in that, but they, but they say they take drug tests in that. Yeah, they do that. Why do they take drug tests in that? What, they don't want nobody getting high in them? Hell no. How, how, how motherfuckers pass the drug test then? They drink lots of water. So, oh, so water get it out of there quick. Yeah, or drop bleach inside the piss. Oh, I'm saying though, another thing I gotta know. I I, I know since some people right when they come out of prison, they be kind of crazy. Not everybody. Oh yeah, you know the ones that be crazy, the ones that been through a lot of shit in the. Like how you become crazy? How can prison make somebody go crazy? For people that don't understand, you could go crazy in though. That be the ones that's always getting clapped on every corner. What you mean by clapped on every corner? That niggas getting beat up on every corner to drive a bitch crazy. Now what you mean by that? Just getting beat up that way? Yeah, you know they ain't banging, they ain't, they ain't, you know, they ain't, they ain't built like a brick wall. So bit they folding on every corner when that pressure applied, you feel me? So sometimes that shit'll drive a bitch crazy, especially behind the door. Yo! So you say behind the door it be crazy. Yeah. You yeah. ever seen people get picked on like that behind the door? Man, everybody. I just seen everybody go through it. Everybody. Okay, okay. So I'm saying though, so like I say in the hole, can't be in the hole make you go crazy? 
I'm gonna keep it blood raw, dog. If you in the box, dog, the only way you gonna go crazy. How big the box is before you answer that question? Shit, that shit a goddamn. Bathroom size bigger than the bathroom, smaller than the bathroom. Nah, that bitch the same size as a bathroom. Like the projects. Yeah. Okay, so who like you in there by yourself or were you in there with people? Sometimes you in there by yourself. Sometimes you in there with somebody. So they could put you in the hole with somebody you don't know. You better believe it. Oh my god. I had to smack about five, six niggas in there. So that mean if you ain't on point, they could be beating the shit out your ass in the hole. Man, listen, man, you could be sleep on a bunk, nigga, wake you up with that iron. With the iron. Yeah. Nigga. In the hole. Man, you sleep. Bitch. That mean nigga. you might don't get no sleep when you in the hole. Hell no. Nah. You got to be on point. You get stabbed on the highs if you ain't on point. Like, like you try to say you ain't got to be going through nothing. He could just stab you for no reason. That part, just like one day I woke up, I was mad. This nigga already been acting green, you feel me? So, bit, <clears throat> I woke up one day, bit pulled that Marlon Lower blade out and went to go to chopping that nigga ass up. I had to wake him out, up out of his sleep to that bit. No. Yeah, yeah. Nigga was having good dreams. You creeped up on the nigga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go down. Bit slippers count. Damn. Bitch, nigga, bitch gotta sleep one eye open in that bit. Bitch gotta be. Yeah. Shit, sometimes it be so real, you gotta sleep with your boots on. <laughs> God damn. It could, go, it could go down at any given time, bitch. Mm-mm-mm. So he done seen, so, so prison ain't no one-on-ones like that. Nah, ain't no one-on-ones, dog. In prison ain't no one-on-ones, especially when you're banging. When you're banging and you claiming a certain set or whatever, Nigga, you fuck with my brother, nigga. You fucking with me, nigga. My brother pop your ass, I'm popping your ass. He swing, I swing. He hit you, I hit you. So, you, so basically, you go to prison, you just gotta be ready to ready. Ain't no, it's too late. Ain't no you chilling now. Nah, nah, on some real nigga shit, when you get to prison, dog, you got to be, you got to already be in like gorilla stage. As soon as you walk through them gates, dog, 24 7, 365 daily until you get released, you got to be in gorilla stage. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So what yeah. about them? What about what, what they say about them boys that be in the library? That be chilling, minding their own business, doing what they do. You know, bitches be in gorilla mode too. Okay, and they look like they chilling, but nigga, no biff. You come fuck with me, you want to, nigga? I'm gonna split your whole head wide open. And what about the guards though? Shit, the guards get it too. I'm saying, I heard the guards be letting it happen, making it go down. Guards let it go down sometimes, and sometimes niggas with life sentences and shit go through it with the guards too. Fuck it. Y'all crackers got to run it too, bitch. I ain't seeing no daylight no more, so y'all got to get it too. That's how niggas rocking. So you think that's what, like, that's a big part of it. Like, so much people got long sentences, they got to, they, 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 like, fuck it. Yeah, especially, um, Especially if you nigga like me and they put you in closed custody and label you as a gang member off rip anyway, so. What you had got labeled as a gang member? Yeah, they got me why in the did, Why did you get labeled as a gang member? Because every day, them crackers see you and you always with a mob, you feel me? Seeing the chain gang is different, it ain't like out here. Yeah, out here you might see a whole group of niggas posted up. That because shit going down, it's a club scene, a, a block party or something like that there, but in the chain gang every day, you gonna see six, seven, eight niggas always huddled up, mobbing together anyway. Especially when they banging and they calling each other brothers, you feel me? So therefore you gonna see that every day. So all rip them crackers gonna label you as a gang member anyway because every time they see you, bitch, you 10, 15 deep. They don't ever tell y'all separate? Mm-mm. Nah, they never say that. They already know what's going on. They got gang sergeants in there and shit. So, so, so in prison, you don't get in trouble for it? Nah, it. nah, you don't get in trouble in prison for that. But is it true they said the guards be making the, you know, the prison people fight? Yeah, they do that too. They want, they, they might be like, you know what, y'all beefing, but the cracker in his head saying this nigga right here always be running his motherfucking mob like he a gorilla for real. Mm -hmm. So, get what, y'all go handle that, man. Let me see what this nigga here about. And he let them phase. He want to see that nigga bumping for real. Mm -mm -mm. So, so are they tough in that shit too? The, um, the, um, the police and shit. 
yeah, you know, yeah, you know, sometimes, sometimes they just be laid back, duck and tuck and let a nigga do them until bitch. Some police ass niggas go and telling them shit in their ear. Somebody told me this one prison in Florida where they gotta have, if you got gold teeth, they need one every time. Oh yeah, that's Lake Butler. So that's that's not a rumor. Nah, that that's that's real. That's back in on uh, 2006. No, he don't do that no more. They don't do that. They don't do that no more. But <laughs> back in back in 2006, 2007, they was doing it. What they was doing? As soon as you get off the bus, bitch, them red necks trying to knock a nigga goals out. They mob if a nigga got goals. So they need one. They they need everything. You might have to pop another bottle. Yeah, they need everything, fam. You might have pop that bottle for your boy, dog. Bring it on the down low, cause we can't show that bottle. They be hating on the bottles, dog. Oh, y'all already know we on Big Rosé. Okay then. And yeah. that gag gas. Okay then. So, you feel me? Now, you can pop it over. You can do it over there. You got this. Shout out to Rolex, technician man, Mr. Popper. The that bottle. Part. Gonna oh. get it right. Second bottle on the way. I'm trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, man. Shout out that boy Mooney, man. Come on April 22nd, man. Out of Franklin Park. What kind of talent you seen in there, though? Let me know what kind of talent. Do the niggas got talent in prison? It's so much different talent in prison. What it's a damn you shame. Seen? What you seen in there that amazed you in prison? It's a whole bunch of rappers. Whole bunch of rappers in prison? Whole bunch of talent. And it's a damn shame, bitch. Them crackers took them people up through there. Is, is anybody in prison you think in prison by mistake? Yeah, there's a lot of people. I'm saying though, but what can you say to prevent people from going up there to prevent these little kids, the new generation from going up there, big dog? Shit, all I can say is get your money. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Facts. For the people that don't know, how much time you been to prison, dog? I've been to prison twice. First time, how much time you did? Six years. Second time, how long you did? Five and a half. Which, which time you feel like was worse? Son? Shit. Really, none of them bills, just the time length. Which, I'm saying, what any of them were more different or was just like right back where you started at? It was right back where I started at. Ain't nothing changed. Nigga, Nine back, was... nigga back, nigga still banging. Nigga know people, people know a nigga, face car good. Everybody already knew what it was when a nigga did come back. But now the difference is now though you came home, the Z's is super hot now though. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga already knew that was gonna happen anyway. How you know that was gonna happen anyway? Because I'm from the first chapter and I already see we was exclusive, so therefore I already know this shit he was gonna go a long way anyway. Is that is that is there any Z rappers coming out? Yeah, we got plenty of them. Okay then, so you already know. Shout out to our boy Zo Baby too. That's one of them right there? Yeah, that's one of my brothers right there. Okay then. Man, you feel me before? Let them know the Instagram before we get out of here. Oh, you already know Cash Money 109. Y'all fuck with me. Oh yeah, shout out to that boy Drip. Shout out to boy uh, Lil Sauce. Shout out to Mozzie. Shout out all my brothers if I ain't name you. Still love 26, you already know. Y'all fuck with me though. Cash Money 109, y'all tap in. It's going down in a major way. I got two artists out of Dade County. Drip is going to kick the door down. Hottest artists in Bride County. All the way to motherfucking West Bubba fuck. Believe that. Oh yeah, so those, oh, those the artists you trying to tap in that music game right now. Oh, you already know it's finna go down. I got that boy Mozzie in the cut. You already know. Shout out to my boy Mozzie. That my brother too. Man, that so boy did the hottest thing out of Bride County coming soon. He finna kick the dough in. I got Lil Sauce and Drip out of Dade County. They finna kick the dough in. So just chill. We here. Okay then. So y'all know what it is, man. Till next time. This your boy Tippy Toe. This been. You know, sponsored by Gold Money Grills. Put your money where your mouth is. Glee! That way. Till next time, man. Shout out to the guests. 
J Dove in the building came through showing us love. Talking about prison. Let us know how it was in the chain game. Z shit. Stay out of trouble. Till next time. You know, we're gonna bring that boy back. You gotta come back, bring the artists so we could hear what oh. they got. Oh, you already know, man. Dripping little sauce will be in the building. Dripping low so sauce. Like, Them boys drippy up. and they got sauce. That way. Duh. Till next time. Glee Z. Okay then. That's a wrap.